Hello and welcome to Tektronix. Today we're going to talk about how to reduce noise on captured signals using analog and digital filters and repetitive and transient waveform averaging. So we have a very noisy sine waveform and you can see we actually have some very severe ghosting as well. And the reason for this is when triggering on a rising edge for such a noisy signal we could have multiple rising edges. We could trigger on what I call the true rising edge here, riding on the overall rising edge of the waveform, or we could trigger on what I call the false rising edge here, riding on the overall falling edge of the waveform. And realize that's not a crucial component of the subject matter, but just in case you were confused or wondering why the ghosting was occurring, well, that is why. So, how do we filter or get rid of the noise? Well, we have several ways to do so. We can reduce the input bandwidth limit, which acts as an analog low-pass filter. Select channel 1, followed by bandwidth, and we have three options to choose from. Full, or 1 GHz, which we are currently running. Now obviously the machine is going to read every signal with a frequency less than 1 GHz. 250 MHz, and we can see a subtle noise reduction there. But if we select 20 MHz, we can see a very substantial noise reduction. Another way to reduce or eliminate random noise is to use repetitive waveform averaging. This uses data from two or more acquisitions and averages the corresponding data points on a point-by-point -point basis. An easy example is taking two acquisitions of a straight-line DC waveform with just a little bit of noise on it. And we can see if we average two acquisitions, it reduces the noise and we would get something along the lines of this. And if we averaged four acquisitions, it would reduce the noise even further, and we would see something along the lines of this. And as you could imagine, this trend will continue as we increase the sample size until the noise is negligible. Now let's look at an example of this on our scope. Select Acquire, Mode, and Average. And here we can already see substantial noise reduction. But again, this trend continues as we increase the sample size until we have a very clean and very fine waveform. Transient waveform averaging, also known as high-res mode, is a Tektronix patented process which is great for reducing noise. While our waveform may look noisy using sample mode, high-res mode calculates and displays the average of all values in each sample interval while running at the highest sampling rate of the digitizer. This effectively increases the vertical measurement resolution and provides maximum detail in a very clean and very fine acquired waveform. So now we will look at how high res and sample modes compare and the best way to do this is to look at single acquisitions at a sample rate much lower than the scope's maximum sample rate. So let's scale out until we're at 25 mega samples per second. Zoom in as far as we can and select Single Acquisition, and we can see how noisy our signal is. And it looks a little rough, especially around the peaks here. And as I continue to press Single Acquisition, we can still see the peaks are really rough there. So we select Acquire, Mode, High Res, and Single Acquisition, and we can see a much cleaner waveform. Another effective way to reduce noise is by reducing the sample rate, which acts as a digital filter. So we will scale out until we're at 100 mega samples per second. Zoom in as far as we can, and select Single Acquisition, and we can see how noisy our signal is. And if we zoom back out just a little bit, we can still see the noise, and we're doing this just because when we decrease the record length by an order of magnitude, we're also going to be decreasing how far we can zoom in by an order of magnitude. Select Acquire, Record Length, and reduce to a thousand in single acquisition, and now we can see how much cleaner and smoother our waveform is. Thank you for watching our video. If you'd like to learn more information about our products, please visit www.tektronics.com/support.